I'm, I've been asked to uh, make this report on behalf of the think group so that you can understand our stewardship as a committee. This church has reached a choice point. That's what social scientists call it, when an organization or a person reaches a point where some kind of decision has to be made as the future, uh, for the future to come to in some sort of meaningful being that will achieve the goals of the person or the institution. So our church is at a choice point. We have to choose the future we want and the way we want to get there. There was a time when if we look past and ask the question, who were we? If we ask that question, we, we have to go back into the history of Hyde Park and remember that America, at one point, Americans went to church every Sunday. All kinds of Americans went to church. That's the thing you did. And this church had over 600 members. This building was built for them and for that time. Well, who are we now? Well, now we're a, we live in a time when Americans don't go to church. We live in a time when churches are, are actually boycotted and churches all across the United States are facing the same choices that we face. So we're at a choice point. There are about 30 of us, maybe 60 of us, in a building that will seat 600 or close to it, in a building that was not built for us, but for somebody else at some other time. So what do we do from here? Times have changed. We have smaller membership, smaller offerings, smaller membership, attendance, and offerings. And we can no longer afford this big building. The maintenance costs alone are more than we can give to maintain it. What should we do? The think group was named by the church council to help us as a congregation identify the choices that we can make and a way that we can get there. It's, it's long been the practice of this church because the choice was made a long time ago by this congregation to rent space as a way of increasing income to help cover the cost of church maintenance. And that's what we do. We have rented most of our space except for this worship area to other people and other organizations. Our newest rental, renter is a daycare center headed up by uh, some very capable uh, people who are, with their income and their contributions to us, ready to help us maintain the building and its cost. But in order to make this room, this building safe for the daycare center, we found that we had bitten off a lot. What we had bitten off was uh, fire laws and uh, a license for a daycare center to open here, this particular kind of daycare center. To meet the demands of the city fire marshal, we installed in this, in this past couple of years, we've installed uh, a fire uh, alarm system for the whole building and for uh, 
that, that, that takes all of us into account. And it was an expensive undertaking. We had to install piping and wiring and uh, all kinds of things to make the fire system work. And so the alarm system is now in. We found that there was a difference of opinion between the city fire marshal and the state fire marshal. The city fire marshal grandfathered us in a lot of ways and said, you're okay. But the state fire marshal said, oh no, you're going to bring a whole lot of children in here? Before you do that, you have to make your building safe for them. And so a number of fire doors have been put in. We have improved our boiler system, so the, the heat system will be substantial and will work constantly. We've installed an escape ramp out of the kitchen and into the back area so that children themselves will be able to rush out of here if the fire begins. The fire doors themselves are now strong enough to withhold the flames from entering long enough for the fire department to get here and, can, and take control from, from their arrival time. Among these many changes, all bringing costs to us, and the costs, by the way, have been shared with the daycare center. They have paid their part. Uh, all of this has been done in cooperation with the local aldermen. So we've had to build relationships with the city government. And uh, this has taken a great deal of time. The committee itself has met every week for at least one hour per meeting. And we've been meeting also with consultants from the United Church of Christ in Cleveland. Zoom is a wonderful gadget. It's a wonderful thing because it's enabled us to do long distance consulting and we have benefited a great deal from their help. Our committee itself is made up of just a few people because it enables us to get together quickly and to think together in a, in a very uh, smooth way. Uh, Jane Comiskey, uh, Nevin Headland, our architect, uh, Stephanie Yule, the church treasurer and former chairperson of the council, and the chairperson of the committee is our pastor, and I also serve on it. So we're the group. We, we don't make decisions, we make recommendations. We make recommendations to the council and try to help the council understand what choices are available to us as we look to the future. So, what does the future look like for this church? Many churches our size just give up and close. But we believe that we have a mission here in Hyde Park, and we're not about to close. We're going to keep ourselves going. We're heading for the long-term future. And in weeks and months to come, you'll be hearing more about that, and we'll have an opportunity to help shape that future as a process plan is put together by the Think Group to enable us as a congregation to make a decision until we are in harmony with one another, agree with one another, and have carved out a consensus that we can all support. So this is who we are, and this is what we've been doing, and uh, this is where we're heading. Thank you very much for the support you've given us, for the trust you have in us, and for the help of the Holy Spirit who guides us constantly.